All right, what's up, Dreamer Tribe? What's up, world? I am Bianca, and welcome to the first episode of our in the game showcase for 2020. And for this episode, I'm gonna go and show to you guys this game that's gonna come out on um, January 29th this year. So in a couple of days, it's gonna come out in a couple of days. Uh, it's for the PlayStation 4, the Nintendo Switch, and the Xbox One, and it's called Music Racer. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is this I think is actually um, it, orig it originally came out as a um, an Android game. Uh, as I was searching um, or researching about it, I came across a couple of uh, websites that were uh, talking about or giving away the APK for this game. So I'm guessing it came out for Android. Um, but yeah, for those who don't know, who ha has never heard of this game before, uh, basically, Music Racer is the dynamic rhythm game loved by millions of players around the world, because as I've said before, it has been released before, but this is the first time it's going to be launched uh, or ported over to consoles. Now, what this game is, according to the data sheet I was given, as um, you know, part of the press kit they were giving away, it says that rush along futuristic neon tracks, gather beats, catch the rhythm. The racetrack is created in real time based on the game's music tracks. The speed and mood of each run are determined by the composition chosen. Obstacles and awards are generated from the music. Get into the rhythm and collect as many points as possible. So. It also talks about what uh, this game features. So it has 14 levels, um, two of which are already unlocked. The others you would have to unlock yourselves. Uh, I'm going to go and show you guys some of those levels as I showcase this game. It, it is the point of, you know, doing this video is to show you guys what this game is about. So I'm going to show you guys the levels that I have unlocked. Um, but yeah, Warning, again, I'm flashing the warning on the screen that came along with the game because the bright colors, the flashing lights, it's, um, it's a, it could trigger uh, epileptic, epileptic seizures, uh, so be warned about that. Um, so yeah, it also has 25, 25 cars with the ability to customize them. Now, the customized part, it's basically just, you know, changing the color whatever you want and the color palette that is available so I'm going to choose red let's pretend that's red I think that's red uh, so yeah choose that um, and also you can unlock other vehicles and unlocking them requires you to have the currency that's on the upper left of the screen um, you can obtain that by playing through and completing tracks and you just cycle through Actually, I'm going to show you guys all the cars. Hold on a second. Um, when you start the game, you are only given um, four uh, from the get-go. And that's the Contact, the Kama, the Pantera, and Tuara. Now, every single vehicle, um, after the Tuara, you have to pay... Uh, the credits, the in-game credits, and you don't have actually, you don't actually have to buy these credits. You can earn them in the game. Yeah, and you can purchase like a vehicle such as a GTR, the Light Cycle, which is what I've been using so far. Uh, the Lorian, the Raven Zero, if you're into mechanical flying beasts, the Night Rider, F1 Bolide. I don't know if I'm reading it correctly, but Volta. Vera, the muscle car, Varen, motorcycle, which is cool actually, the Lincoln, Trueno, Turbo, the Road Warrior, the Police, Phoenix, Lightning, the Cruiser, RSQ, and Santa. So Santa, I think, is uh, the it's it's the one that requires you to actually grind in order to unlock because you need um 100,000 points for it. Now, let's go back to what I would like to use uh for this showcase. Where is it? Light cycle. So yeah, 
as I've said, this is a rhythm game. Um, and with this game, there are 23 original songs in it. They're, they're techno songs. Um, they're really well made. And it's one of the things that I like about this game. Um, and also, again, there are 14 levels. So I'm going to show you guys what those levels are. But some of them are still locked, so I can't actually um, demo them to you because I haven't collected enough points to unlock them all. And also, a couple of them have really bright flashing lights that I'm afraid to actually record and show to you guys because I'm not sure how safe that would be to watch this without, you know, first knowing how neon-y and techno-y and, you know, the, the, fla the bright flashing lights, they're, they can really... They're really, they really hurt your eyes, I gotta be honest. Um, it hurt my eyes, so I try not to uh, play those levels. But yeah, um, you actually have to unlock as well on the get-go. You have Legacy and New Kyoto unlocked when you uh, start, first start, start out the game. And then you gotta unlock everything else, like the Retro, which is my favorite because it's by far the least flashy level of all of them, or at least all the, the ones that I've unlocked. Um, we also have the Vega, Horizon, Seeker, Station, Retro 2. I don't know if this is much better than you know the the other one we have i haven't unlocked it i need 5000 points i only have 1700 790 as of the moment legacy 2 distant lands colorful celestial reborn and fireworks and fireworks is the one that costs the most with 10000 uh, points now this game if you're playing this on the xbox one or if you're planning to play this on the xbox one rather and the playstation 4 it has achievements and it has easy achievements i'm gonna go and show it to you guys what the achievements are it's flashing the screen right now i can't really go back to the main menu or the xmb menu of the of the playstation 4 just to show you what i've unlocked but yeah this is the trophy list this is my trophy list for this game i've unlocked quite a number of trophies already and most of them as you guys can see they're only you only need to purchase these things on um the game and you can unlock them i think uh, they're not really that hard to platinum so if you're a platinum hunter and you want to add another platinum trophy to your list then this one is an easy addition uh but yeah i think uh that's enough of the basics basics of the game or what the features are of the game so let's dive right into the actual uh, game modes of music racer so yeah we have i forgot to mention this we have again this is our this are the or actually i've already mentioned it these are the 23 songs in the game and uh for this showcase all of them are unlocked you don't have to purchase a song to be able to play it thank god um but yeah these are all the songs that we have here and for this game showcase, I am going to, where is it? I'm, I will be playing just this one track. It's called Hope. It's actually one of my favorite tracks in this game. So yeah, we're going to play this. Now, these are the game modes that um, Music Racer has. It has Standard, which is basically the main game mode of the game. Uh, in the standard game mode, um, you collect the beats while trying to maneuver past obstacles. And if you end up getting hit by an obstacle, then you will lose the beats that you have collected prior to, col to your collision. You can collect more beats. It affects your score, but you know, it's, I don't think it affects it that much. Because even when I was just starting the game, I got two stars despite colliding so many times and then we have zen mode now zen mode is basically easy mode um in this mode you don't have any obstacles to worry about i'm gonna show that to you guys um, i'm gonna show each you know each game mode i'm gonna go demonstrate uh those game modes to you guys because this is an indie game showcase you have to showcase the game um cinematic um this will be the last game mode that i'll be showing because basically you it's just a music player of sorts you don't actually have to 
control anything. You don't have to press anything. Although you can control the camera while you're uh, playing through the cinematic mode. And it also has points in the end, which I don't really get why that is the case. <laughs> but yeah, as, as for hard, it's very self-explanatory. It's the hardest game mode in uh, Music Racer. And the difference... The, oh, the thing, rather, that makes it the hard mode is that it has a sudden death mechanic. Um, if you collide with an obstacle, even just once, it's game over. And you have to start restart again or choose another track if you don't like to restart the game. So, for now, I'm gonna go and show... I'm gonna first show you guys the Zen mode. Um, and also, I'm gonna go and hide my camera just so you guys can have a better look at it. There we go. All right, let's go with Zen mode. Again, we're just gonna go and use one track. And also the controls, they're pretty simple. It's just the arrow keys. You don't have to press anything else. You can play this with just one hand. Um, and yeah, the, uh, this is the reason why I like this stage much more than the others because it's not as headache inducing as the other um as the other levels uh, but i'm gonna go show you guys what the tokyo level looks like and what the legacy one looks like because uh, those are the first ones that are oh, i missed that one those are the first ones that are unlocked also it looks easy but you have to be really quick when your button presses otherwise you're gonna miss um a beat and that will of course lower your score a bit but yeah zen mode it's pretty easy also there are some um songs oh, i missed that one as well uh, there are some songs that you know i you can hear you guys can hear it right there's that beat that goes when you collect a beat <laughs> Um, and some songs they don't match, which kind of sucks because, you know, you expect a rhythm game to, to actually have rhythm in it that, you know, that follows your button presses, but yeah, you can maybe pass, that, give this game a pass for that. Um, I don't know if you can, um, turn off the sound effect for collecting the beat, like if you just want to listen to the actual music while playing uh, the other modes besides the cinematic mode. I don't know if that's a thing that you can do, but there is an option because this isn't actually the view that you're given by default. I actually had to set this up in the options menu. I'm going to go and show you, to you guys that on the cinematic mode because, again, it, I can't... I, I don't do well with flashing lights. Like, this is the most that my eyes can handle without me getting any sort of headache. That's why I chose this level first. Um, but yeah, the other views, they're much more closer... Uh, your vehicle is much more closer to the camera, which makes it harder to see the beats as they are generated. finish this entire track um, which you guys will be hearing four more times uh, two more times rather because we're using this track for all of the other game modes just so you can see the difference in game modes if you use a different track then it's very difficult to see the difference between them because you haven't seen what they look like in the other game modes
actual beat of this thing that's still correct on the ground uh, because it's, it, it still counts. Um, I guess the effects, the visual effects for it are just delayed a bit or they aren't triggered, but oh my gosh. But yeah, it still counted in your score. It's not actually a miss. I actually thought that those were misses, but when I checked, they weren't, so... That's good. Also, the speed is determined by the actual speed of the track, which is something that I actually that I find really cool about this game. So yeah, there we go. That was the Zen mode. We got three stars. So if it is your first time playing the game and you got three stars, you're gonna get a trophy for that. If you get one star after a race, then also another trophy. If you get two stars, the game will also give you another trophy. So again, if you're a trophy or an achievement hunter, then you're gonna love this game. Um, but yeah, that was the first mode, the Zen mode, the easy mode. So let's go back to the menu. I'm still gonna use the light cycle. Uh, oh yeah, before that, I did promise, oh my goodness, I did promise to show you guys. So here is where you change the settings. Now, camera is where you want to go if you want to change the distance of the vehicle from the camera. I chose three because that is the easiest <laughs> that's the easiest for me to play the game because it doesn't hurt my eyes as much compared to, I, to when I'm playing it uh, under the default settings, which I think was one. Um, I wish I could show you guys what that looks like, uh, but I, I will do it when, when, we, when I uh, show you guys the cinematic mode. Uh, but as I'm playing the game, as I'm actually controlling the vehicle, I'm gonna stick to uh, camera three uh but yeah that's what this looks like what the options menu look like so let's go to kyoto which is one of the two already unlocked um areas or levels that you can visit and go back to hope which is our song and i'm gonna show you guys standard first we're gonna do this by level um, there we go. Also, time to hide the camera again. There we go. The, this is the gimmick of this stage because each stage or each area they have a gimmick. And for the new Kyoto, it's this uh, sort of flashing, super flashing light. It, go, it goes really dark and then boom, light. So many bright colors. Again, if you have a history of seizure and epilepsy this game is not for you if you get headaches playing games like these or watching you know this showcase then i would suggest not getting this game maybe find some other game to play or if you're if you have colored blindness this is also not a game for you okay so that's the obstacle those pink things they're the obstacles you have to um avoid and as you guys can, as you guys saw, I lost all the beats like that. I lost all the beats I have collected prior to the collision, so I have to collect new ones. Um, I think to have that score multiplier. I believe there is a score multiplier. And also, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but this stage has a, a very, very um, narrow middle lane and wide lanes on the side which is you know depending on what stage you select these lanes and how many lanes there are it changes so if you want to play the harder levels of a song then just choose a different oh my gosh i am missing so many things play a different um different area it's really hard play this game and talk at the same time because I usually I when I play this I'm very quiet and I'm, I'm concentrating so hard uh, not just to get all of the beats 
but also to keep myself from you know looking at the game uh, in a very wrong way that it causes me a headache which is a problem i have not just in games that have very flashy colors i guess but also when it comes to first person uh, games which is why i seldom play those oh my gosh that was close but yeah this is a Tokyo level. This is its gimmick. It's the whole flashing thing. Oh my goodness. The light dimming and all that. I have so many misses in this level. It's so annoying. Also, in this track, you can see actual beats being generated. I think there are a couple of tracks that let you see it as it happens. You know, this beat generating shoot. to avoid the things that I'm supposed to be obtaining. That's something. And that is the standard game mode on New Kyoto. Uh, we only got two stars, surprise. Um, I actually did much badly than I did the first time I played this game, colliding at everything, but I'm surprised that I got two stars out of this. All right, so it's hard mode next. We're still gonna use the light cycle. I like the light cycle. And I'm gonna show you guys this. This is actually the first area that you can play. Although both New Kyoto and Legacy is unlocked, um, I think uh, unless you like to explore and push buttons, you wouldn't realize that you can actually scroll through the levels. It actually took me a couple of minutes. Um, to realize that oh there are more levels i didn't i didn't check the um i didn't check if there were any um achievements prior to playing this game so i was surprised that there were achievements <laughs> and that they were easy achievements but anyways yes where is hope there we go hope in legacy on heart now i can't promise that i'll be able to finish Hard mode is just that I want to show you guys what makes hard mode hard. <laughs> Apart from just, you know, explaining it to you guys uh, before. So let's do hard. Um, uh, yeah, I've never pl finished uh, a song in hard mode. Because as you guys saw during our standard gameplay, I collided quite a lot of time. I'm hoping that at least this one, since I'm recording, I'll be able to finish or at least get to a half the halfway mark of the song. Because the first time I tried, I hit the game over so quickly. Of course, I wasn't playing on the track and I like to leave yeah. after several attempts. I'm hoping that I would be able to finish hard mode. Oh my god. 
Uh, another thing about this game that I forget, forgot to mention is that even if you collect the least amount of beats, it doesn't give you a game over. It just gives you a low score and a low reward. Um, which is cool because it doesn't really give you that much of a pressure. Like, you don't even need to play the game on hard mode, even if you're a trophy hunter you can, or an achievement collector, you can just play this on Zen mode, on st standard mode, and you would still obtain that platinum trophy or whatever the equivalent is on the Xbox for the platinum trophy for obtaining all the trophies in the game. Uh, yeah, you can still collect all of those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Life. But yeah, the only time I believe that you can get a game over is from hard mode, and that is only if you collide with a uh, an obstacle. Which is what we're trying very hard to avoid. Yeah, 470, we got one star, so yeah, I guess I got all of um, all of the stars from from um, 1 to 3. But yeah, that's the difference between hard mode and all the other playable modes, is that just one hit and you're out. You get a game over, you don't get any credits or you know points that you can spend. Uh, but that's that. I'm not gonna go and repeat that whole thing because that is very difficult. So yeah, I haven't finished a game on hard mode yet. Alright, so now, for the sake of those, I'm not gonna go- um, Vega is an interesting level, um, but I'm not gonna go and show you guys what Vega- what the Vega stage looks like because this is one of those stages that is really, really extremely flashy. Uh, it has bright lights, it has that dimming and suddenly super bright light that, that new Kyoto has, but like multiply that a couple of times more. But the thing about this stage though is that unlike the other levels where the beats are in the shape of, you know, underground, in the shape of squares, flattened or rectangles, flattened, flattened rectangles, in Vega, you have them falling from the sky in sort of a tower-shaped uh, white thing that you have to collect. And also in Vega, it has these rock protrusions that, has, I, that I really wish I could show you guys, but again, I'm afraid that I might cause someone epilep epileptic seizure and I would not wish that have and now for Horizon, I don't know, I haven't actually tried it, so I can't really show it to you guys yet. Same for, for all the others, because I've been basically playing the game in the retro, uh, the retro level or the retro stage, and it, I, I just like the stage so much because it doesn't hurt my eyes that much. So we're gonna use this again, and we're gonna go to. Oh, um, oh yeah, before that, I'm gonna go and. Um, Camera distance. I'm gonna go and change this to uh, default one, which is one. So you, can, you guys can see what that default looks like as we try out, or as I showed you guys what cinematic mode is about. Oh, I'm just just gonna go and turn off my camera for you guys to see it better. All right. Let's go. Cinematic mode. Basically, it's, again, a music player. You don't have to touch anything. Um, you can just watch the car or, or whatever vehicle you're using to, you know, drive by itself. It, there are no beats to collect, but you can control the camera. So yeah, camera one is this close when you're playing the game on 
under the default setting. And again, it's just like um, a music player, a visual with with visuals. You can watch it if you like to watch this sort of thing, <laughs> trippy as it looks, um, where, where with the flashing lights and all. Uh, then go ahead. And I think this is um, the good place as any to begin winding down the video. Uh, first off, this comes out again on Feb. Uh, no, sorry. This comes out on the 29th of January this year. I don't know how much uh, this game is gonna cost, but it is going to be out for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. And if you have a Switch, I would suggest. You get this game. If you're planning to get this game and you don't know for what platform you're gonna get it, get this on, and you have all of those consoles that I've mentioned before, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch, I would suggest going for the Switch. This is a good game to play on the Switch. Um, it's one of those games that helps you pass time. Um, also, it is developed by Abstract Art and published by Sometimes You and Abstract Art as well. I don't know how big this would be on the Switch or on the Xbox. I don't know if the file size is going to be the same as the PlayStation 4, but in the PlayStation 4, it's only around 400 MB, so it's not that big of a game. Um, so yeah. I think this is a good time as any to say goodbye. I'm gonna leave this running in the background to get some finished listening to it. Again, thank you all for watching. And if you like this game, click on the link on the description below to find out how you can purchase it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, you guys know the drill. Dream on, fly off. What's up, Dreamer Tribe? What's up, world? I am Bianca, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to be a part of the Dreamer Tribe, just hit on that subscribe button. We also have tons of different content here on my channel, so be sure to check those out. Until the next video, dream on, fly on.